of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We're you, blessed. Jesus. Amen. To be a part. Yes, we are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. And all over the world, as the prophet said it would be. And all over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And all over the world, the Spirit is moving. And all over the world, as the prophet said it would be. And all over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. And all over the world, as the prophet said it would be. And all over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, won't you come by here? Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, won't you come by here? Somebody needs a healing, Lord, come by here. Somebody needs a healing, Lord, come by here. Somebody needs a healing, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, won't you come by here? Lord, I am praying that you save many souls. Lord, I am praying for you save many souls. Lord, I am praying for you save many souls. Oh, Lord, won't you come by here? Hallelujah. And I believe in the Lord. He's going to put a hook in some jaws and draw them in. Amen. He's going to reel them in. <laughs> They're not going to be able to get away. It's going to be a fish that got the hook in his jaw. Thank you, Jesus. Glad to see Brother Maddox and Sister Maddox coming in tonight. Thank the Lord. We're going to ask uh, Brother and Sister Spidey if they'll come up and give us a song of praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just thank the Lord and wave your hands to Him. Give Him a wave offering. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord told me that in uh, making it. Three of my kids, He's going to put a hook in their jaw and pull them in. <laughs> I was reminding the Lord about that tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She had eleven. She had twelve children. She was a Baptist woman. She got fed up with that rule, and she started going through there, yelling and screaming and saying, "Get out of this evil place!" <laughs> Went all the way to the door, and we were, of course, 
we were glad she was doing that and we got to talking about you know what would be the best way to approach some people would they receive that and I said well I said she might not have done it the best way but the thing about Christians is if they're doing something like that and a sinner asks you you better stand with that Christian you don't stand against Christians that are doing something for God you stand with them because if somebody's real and they're doing something from their heart, you don't want the devil to divide you up saying, well, even that's, that Christian over there didn't like it. No, no, no. You stand with the Christians doing what they want to do for God. You might have done it a different way, but you're not there to criticize them. We might think about a better way we might could do it, but we don't stand against them. Thank God for her. Praise the Lord.
praise. I'm in a happy about it. Amen. Through trials and tribulations, man, they'll be all over in a little while. One of these days, we'll be going home. Amen. We appreciate the Lord for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord here. Amen. Always good to stop by the house because you hear something you don't hear anywhere. Give you a lift, uplift, and uplift your faith. How I many know we need to keep our faith up there? Yes, yes. Amen. They always say that word of God is faith food. Amen. Amen. You stay out one of the word on your faith will automatically die. <laughs> they like driving a car down the road. You don't stop by the tank, get some gas, and then you're going to be side the road. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I mean, but you can keep that, keep that tank full up yes. with the word. Yes. You don't have to fear how it works. I don't understand how it works. All I know is just, man, a man, a, a black crowd eat green grass and that white milk, I don't know how all that works. <laughs> I'm like, maybe whatever he says, I just do it. It works. I mean, on time. Time we try to figure God out. Our little Peter brain, we just, faith come out here to hear it. Amen. Amen. When you hear it, that means pay attention. Amen. You know, we be sitting up there day doing things about the little house. <laughs> but we pay our attention. I mean, that's what the Lord is making with me. When he get our attention. Right. Amen. He puts some in our spirit and our heart. Amen. That will bless us to be able to stand up against what we are faced with tomorrow. Because every day we roll around, we're going to have trials and tribulations. We're out of one trial preparing for another. But I'm going to know the more trials, and once we get to the place, we become the, become the champion. Yeah. Amen. So we have, amen. Uh, the, the evangelist here tonight, again, yeah, and I know it's been good every night. Amen. Why has she been here? I told her. I might be getting on in there because if you get saved, more saved than I do, we're going to have a mess around there. <laughs> but the word was so good the other night. I mean, it was just, just God, just, just right. Season, just right. Amen. And Brother Clark is back here again tonight. And I know he's a man that seeks the Lord ever since I know him. He's always been a serious man. He's way more serious than I have been. And he designed for that. Yeah, he <laughs> but he, God used in different ways. But, but he got something that would be a blessing. To God's people Amen. that we're here because what we need is in the Word of God. So let's get ready. Amen. Let's open our heart up. Amen. Brother Clark is going to come to us. He's already in his place of prayer. Let's just start and start and join with him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Lord, we come before you with a bow of heart, Lord. Lord, we come before you, Jesus, reverencing you, Lord Jesus, with our whole man, with all our mind, soul, body, and spirit, Lord. Because you're worthy, Lord. Lord, you're worthy, Jesus, Lord. You're worthy for the praise, Lord. And Lord, we ask you, Almighty God, to search us out, Jesus. Search us out, Lord, and bring us closer to you, Lord, as we reach out, Lord. Lord Jesus, search us out, Lord God. Lord, put a strive in us, Lord. Put a push in us, Jesus. Put a yearning in us, Lord. God, that we are hunger for you, Lord. Lord, is it though they're hunger for you, Lord? She'll be filled, Lord. Lord, put a hunger and a thirst down in my inside, Lord. Down in my spirit. All in my emotions, God. All my affection, Lord. God, put a deep thirst, Lord. Oh, God, mighty God. Lord, that I could just, just paint after you, Lord. Like the deer painted after the, after the water brook, Lord. Jesus, Lord God. Lord, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, Father, your mighty name, Jesus, Lord. Lord, my heart searches for you, Lord. Lord, you need it in this hour. You need it, Lord God, in every home. God, every woman needs you, every child needs you, every man needs you, Lord. Lord, America needs you, Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God, we need you, Jesus, we need you, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to realize our, our need, Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Father, your mighty name, mighty God. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. And ask for your blessing, Lord God, upon our lives, upon our homes, Lord. God, upon our soul, mind, body, and spirit, Lord. Lord Jesus, mighty God, strengthen us, Lord. 
that we may be strength to others. In your mighty name, mighty God, let your bread be broken for us, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, get a Lord of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. It's good to be here. I'm glad to see you, your faces and stuff. Thank you, Lord. Glory. You know, just want to talk to you a little bit. You know, only through Christ we live. Yeah. Only through Christ we live. Amen. You know, that brother came up last night and said he just want more Jesus. You know, he just want more Jesus. It could be easy saying it, then done. It could be easy said and done. You don't want Jesus. You know? Basically, what are you asking for? Basically, what are you asking for is a complete 70 hour walk. That's right. A complete self in that walk. Amen. You want more Jesus? Yes. But John said, I must decrease. Yeah. For him to increase in me. Yeah. See, for the kingdom of God to be manifested, to show up. That's right. Yeah. To show up. We have to get rid of self. Yeah. Self righteousness. Like filthy rags. Your thoughts ain't my thoughts, said the Lord. Neither is your ways, my ways. Man, we start asking for more Jesus. You know what you're asking for? It ain't like, it ain't like asking mama for, 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 for more, uh, for another bowl of grits and gravy. You ask for more Jesus. What did Jesus say? They ask, they say, can we sit on the right side, on the right hand, and on the left side? He said, you don't know what you're asking for. But can you drink this cup? Can you drink this cup? You want more of Christ? He said, can you drink this cup that I'm drinking? Can you receive this baptism? Come on now. Tell me, Stephen. Lord help us. You want more Jesus? Right. Want more Jesus. God, help us to reach out more. Amen. Are you ready? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Can you bear this cross? Not when you feel good. Not when the day just sun sitting just right. But he said, daily. Yeah. When somebody ring the doorbell and that sound don't sound right to you, you still got to bear your cross. That's right. You still got to bear your cross. Want more Jesus. Amen. 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 More Jesus. Come on, man. My, my, my. You be saying, Lord, what you doing to me now? Uh, stop by the potter's house. You want more Jesus? You just stay on the potter's wheel. Am I? Can I do what they claim as I would? Stop by the Paula's house. He finna make himself a vessel. Oh yeah. 
Sí, sí. Te digo, Mojitas. Jesus didn't come to be, he didn't come to be served. <laughs> See, he's looking to be, to be served. You may not want more Jesus. Because he said that them that are greatest among you, let them be a servant. Meaning that you, You gotta be the one that get in that word all night long to plug it out. You that ox, got to get in it. Thread out the corn. Thread it out. The servant. You gotta pay the price for that anointing. Your ears got to be open to cry out God's people. Hmm. One more Jesus. One more Jesus. Yeah, one more love. One more love. We live only through Christ. You know, we need more in John 3.16 as believers. We need more than John 3.16 as believers. First Corinthians 15 and 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. See, that's why we have to go beyond John 3.16. Because we have to know what to do after we believe. After we believe. We say, yeah, it's a simple, it's a simple gospel. It's a simple gospel. But we need more than John 3.16. We need to to go further and get the meat so we can grow until we come into the unity of the faith, into that complete measure, that full stature. We have to grow into maturity, you see, because them, them teachings of the apostles, he's building that house He building us. We being fitly framed together Amen. in the faith, on, in the bones and flesh of the Lord. Being fitly framed together. Even the natural, you need more than bread and water. He said, I come in the volume of the whole book. The whole book. The whole book. Don't get me wrong, that John 3 16 is, is very powerful all by itself. But it's not all by itself. It's not all by itself. You know? You want the whole thing. Because remember what you said. I want more Jesus. I want more Jesus. And I want more Jesus. My, my, my. 
Let's not get snared by our own words. I want more Jesus. And I'm pretty sure we all want more Jesus. We want more Jesus. And we live through, we live through Christ. He said, Awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness. Mean awake to Christ. Awake to Jesus. Because he's righteous. Because the kingdom of God is joy, peace, righteousness in the Holy Ghost. In Christ. It's his righteousness. We have to see what Christ have done and what he speak of, the thing he has spoken to understand that righteousness. I need that righteousness of Christ because my righteousness may be previous. My righteousness is like 50 rags. So I can see receive his righteousness. It will call me to have that greater love. Yeah. Yes. That love. That will compel you to be meek and humble yes. and gentle yes. and tender yes. and full of love. Yes. And to God is love. Those that don't have love don't know God. God is love. He's love. And seeing his righteousness. See, that's that mirror. We see that God is love. We look in that mirror. And we get out of that mirror and walk away. That reflection that we see in that mirror got to be Got to penetrate through our flesh. Got to get in your heart. He said, this is the covenant I will give you. I'm going to engraft my word in your heart. Yes. So when we look in that mirror, look in that mirror, that, that image of Christ is going to shine in our spirit. Right. And it is to remain in our spirit. Amen. It's not to be taken out. It's to remain in our spirit. For he told, for he told John, he said, him that you see the spirit be sent on and remain on yes. and remain on yes. see Christ is our example yes. the spirit of God has to remain on us yes. not just in the house of God yes. not just in the moment of prayer but God's spirit is to remain on us and in us yes. but I'm going to be in you yes. it's to remain in us because we lose God's spirit, that means we have lost it life. All right. Because the life is in, in Christ. His word is a seed. That seed get in us. That seed grow. It's that mustard seed gets in us. And before you know, it's bone big. Yeah. Yeah. Lord Almighty. Wow. His spirit has to remain on us. Yeah. Yes. Remain on us. I don't want to be a saint for, the, for an hour. They got to search around for it. No, he said, you the light of the world. Yes. Yes. Keep your light. The light is Christ in you. So that show you that the Spirit of God got to remain on you. He said, arise and shine, for your light have come, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, and it's going to be seen upon you. His glory is to be seen upon us. His glory is to be seen upon us. The world will see the very image of Christ on us. There's something different about your man. Something different about your woman. Something different about you. 
But praise the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. For the remain on us. See, in peace with God. See, Lord, people ain't going to be troubled because we're not appointed to the wrath to come. That's right. Don't mean we're not going to be crying out. And that's why right, because he's crying out now. Amen. Amen. Moaning now. Amen. Oh, they may be rejecting Christ now. But believe me, there's a point in time. There's a point in time. The Lord said going to shake heaven and shake the earth. Right. One more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One more time. If anything that's not built on the foundation, it's going to fall. Lord, it's going to fall. Anything that don't have the word of God in it, it's going to pass away. Yeah. If it ain't made of God's word, it's going to pass away. Because it's a heaven and earth shall pass. The only thing that remains is God's word. Uh, yes. And that's why we have to be born again yeah. that's it. of his word. Yeah. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was, was with God. Yes. And the word is God. And when we baptize, we baptize into the Word, into God, into all His mysteries. And we are to remain. We are to remain. We are to remain. Yes. Yes, sir. We are to remain. And it's time to get hungry. Time to get hungry for it. That body, and we ought to eat it worthy with a true heart, with a true sincere heart. Yes. He don't, the Lord don't let us being insincere. We'll be sincere. Like a man that want to hire you for a job, say, I don't know if you're serious or not. Yeah. You keep showing up when you want to show up. Do it like you want to do it. Right. Got to show some sincerity. Sincerity somewhere. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Come on, praise him. Yeah. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Some have not the knowledge of God. See, the world don't have the knowledge of God. They don't have a knowledge of the word made flesh. That's why I said that we have to have more than John 3, 16 because we have to have a knowledge, the complete knowledge of him to understand our walk, to understand our behavior. To understand the thing that we, that we have to fight against. To not to be overthrown. You ever heard? Knowledge is power. And now the God is power. So that's why the Apostle Paul said, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Yes. Because it is the power of God unto salvation unto them that believe. Right. See, he knows that the knowledge of God straightened everything out. Yeah. Man, it's the Christ. Yeah. This the same in the world. Without controversy, he was manifested in the flesh. Amen. Without controversy, this, this Jesus, the Lord is God. Amen. Man, that solved the whole equation. That's right. He said they've been hidden. Now they've been made known. The Christ in you. Your hope of glory. Yes. The indwelling of God in man. Okay. You got to get God in you, brother. You got to get God in your sister. Yes. Yes. You got to get God.
God in you. Yeah. Not just on the tongue. Yeah. But he got to get in you to change you, to transform you from darkness into light. From, from being filthy to being clean. Because the scripture said, cleanse yourself from all what? Filthiness of the flesh. All that ugly talk is filthy. Clean ourselves. It's all about submission. Hebrews 6. Hebrews 6 and 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on until perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and a faith towards God. See, we both already have an understanding that we know that we we start out, we have to repent. It gets rid of said, all these things that easily beset you. Man, if that watching all that television stuff ain't doing but snaring me, upsetting my walk with Christ. Get rid of these things. Get rid of these stuff that they keep having us to stumble over, to trip over. It's up that besetting you. Besetting your way. Getting in the way, irritating you. Hindering you. When you get off that stuff. Get rid of the dead works. Don't get it wrong. Now you get baptized. How many you want to get baptized? But he said, let us go on. Let us grow up. Let us grow up. Let us grow up. Let us grow up in Christ. Yeah. We should know that bad talk is in God talk. That's right. We spoke a little different between right and wrong, good and bad. He said, some don't want to make a difference between what is clean and what is unclean. Because they have not the knowledge of God. He yeah. said, I speak this to your shame. Right. That's what's going on, like the testimony you're giving. They call that which clean is evil. Right. They call that which evil clean. is clean. Right. They have not the knowledge of God. So that's why we have to go beyond, beyond the foundation of repentance. Let us go on to perfection. I got it down pat now. I got it down. I got it right now, preacher. I got it right now. My heart is set to repent. My heart, I have an understanding that I can't take all my junk with me and get in the pool and be a new creature. I got to leave this stuff behind. I don't want the path to look at this in. How many times I gotta preach that same message to you? Yeah. I got people that want to get on third base, Amen. but I gotta keep preaching first base to you. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. That's it. I can't throw a fastball in here because I gotta keep throwing a little slow ball to you. Uh -huh. That's right. Woo. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I preach it, brother. When you gonna learn to step around? That bag of boo cry. Mm -hmm. You like being in a grocery store. 
certain hours that you don't go down. Why? There ain't nothing on the aisle for me. Amen. Yeah. Nothing about alcohol and beverages. That's right. Right. Oh, strong enough. I'm going down there. Well, we'll stay on the railroad track, too. <laughs> yeah, come on. You want to tell God? Uh, don't tell God. <laughs> you know? In other words, there's certain things, places you don't want to even present yourself. That's right. it. The church wants to go to perfection. We both to know the state, to stay clean. Get clean and stay clean. Amen. But no, they ain't got rid of sin. So he's like a hog who was once walked, walked from the slop, now we're going to run back in it. And like a dog, go wallow back in the vomit. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Go wallow back in the, in, in the vomit. Old sigh. Wild in the mud. Uh -huh. And got clean and go right back in it. Sure the old dog. Full of fleas and ticks. <laughs> Get clean and stay clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, see, that's that same crowd, that's that same bunch that said, Lord, Lord, yeah, come on. open up to us. Yes. We had this type of ministry. We did this type of work. We did this. We did that. He said, depart from me. For I know you're not. Because your work was of iniquity. You never did sincerely repent. You kept coming in. But you never repented. And the Lord said, I will not be mocked. Come will not be mocked. Come on, he come back for a people that have made themselves ready. Yeah. That includes you and includes me. And I care about me. I care about me. I have some folks that I know that I believe in my heart that they don't cross over to be the Lord. And I want to see them again. Because when I was a young man, I was always telling my mom, I was always telling my mom, you ain't got to worry about this son of yours. Because right. nine boys and three girls. And I always told my mom, I said, you ain't got to worry about this son here. Because I told her, I said, I believe in Jesus. Yeah. I'm from the Lamb of God. Amen. I believe in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. I'm going to keep praying, Mama. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep fasting. Yeah. All you need to eat, boy, I'm eating, Mama. <laughs> I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I got to get Jesus. Yeah. You know what he said? I want more Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, all right. I want more Jesus. All right. yes. I want some. I want what the Lord has. Yes, yes. So she ain't got to worry about me. I said, I'll meet you in heaven. Yes. All right. I'll meet you on the other side. All right. Praise God. And I meant it. <laughs> Thank you. And I meant it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and I meant it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I meant it. And I still need it now. Amen. All right. The old man of death. See, I'm dead to the world. The world is dead to me. Want some excitement out of me? Come on now. This is it here. This is it. In the Holy Ghost. Yes. For I'm determined to know no man after the flesh. Yeah. 
turning out to know you. But Christ crucified. Amen. Him crucified. So you want more Christ. Now I know the natural man have to be taken care of now. I'm keeping it wrong. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Luke. Luke 12. Luke 12. Luke 12, 8. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denieth me before men shall be, shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. It shall not be forgiven. That helps us to put our mind that ain't been renewed in the complete knowledge on the altar to change our behavior about one another. So we can get upset at this, or at that, at he or she. But the Lord said, touch not my anointing. Touch not the Holy Ghost. You can talk about Brother Mark. But don't talk about the Holy Ghost. Come on now. <laughs> you can talk about flesh and head. Don't touch the Holy Ghost. Don't touch it. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. You see, if we don't read them, we won't know. We'll be ignorant. And that's why we are to know God's word. You see what I'm saying? Because some people out in the world, they don't have no knowledge. And they'll talk about a preacher. And they go beyond talking, talking about a, pe a, a preacher fresh. He's not talking about the spirit. Yeah. They don't know what you bring on yourself. That's true, man. Huh? True. See, they have not another God. He said, now, he said, as you read, she said, some have not another God, and I speak it to your shame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not going to have another God if they'll never open the book. Right. If they never come to the potter's house to learn about the potter. Right. We have to come to the potter's house to learn about the potter, how he fashioned the vessel on the wheel. Mm -hmm. What he's trying to make. For I beseech you, I beg you, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him with our reasonable service. The apostle was begging him. I beg you, brother. I beg you, sister. Present your body. Present your body. Stop worshiping idols. Stop running off across town like a man, man. Get in here and present your body to God. Amen. Present your body to God. Stop thinking that you're good. Thank you. you ain't got no goodness. None. But Christ. Amen. That's it. But Christ. Self-righteous. He's trying to make himself a perfect temple. Amen. A humble temple. Oh, yeah. Make me, mold me, Lord. Fashion me. Yes, God. I want more Jesus. Amen. That's good. I want 
Lord. The whole Lord Jesus said, I want more Jesus. What do you want, man? What do you want, man? What do you want, man? Come on, man. I mean, I want more Jesus. What do you want, man? What do you want, man? To feel your conscious, to feel the inward man. So Jesus will put the death, that old flesh, that conflict going on, like a, like a woman having, a woman got twins, and one one the child is spiritual in the womb, and the other child in the womb is flesh, and that flesh child is fighting that spiritual, the spiritual seed. The flesh seed fighting the spiritual seed. Amen. But Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. Yes, and he gave us what we need to destroy the works of sin. He said, crucify that flesh. Yeah. So that flesh seed in us that fight against that spirit seed, it got to be crucified. Amen. It got to be crucified. Put the devil. That way it ain't pulling you. It ain't yanking you no more. Then you at peace with God. That's why the Apostle Paul said, that which I would do, I couldn't do. Because he seen something working in his flesh. But he said, with my mind, with my spirit, I serve that inward man. Amen. He stopped obeying that flesh. That flesh man. The White Bible said, there now is no condemnation to them that walk after, after the Spirit, after Christ, yes. and not after the flesh. Yes. The flesh spirit walk against the Spirit. The bond woman is a child of promise. They're warring against each other. Born against seven. Right. Even now, the flesh man fights against the spirit man. The flesh man is a world man. So he fights against the born again child. They were faith. You got faith in Jesus, you're going to always have a fight with those that in the flesh. You can always have a fight with them. But we ought to have mercy on them. Because they know not what they do. That's right. We are the, that was soul when it comes in there. Right. Philippians 3. Philippians 3. 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross. Who in is destruction, who God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Who mind earthly things. Tell me the enemies of the cross. Enemies of salvation. It don't take all that to be saved. That's right. Huh? That's right. Enemies of the cross. That's right. Don't take all that praying. Don't take all that fasting. It don't take holiness. Enemies of the cross. Enemies of the way of salvation. God plan of salvation. Amen. Yeah. And some say, I'll deal with that when I get there. Yeah, you're going to be dealt with when you get there. Right. But you ain't going to deal with it. That's right. <laughs> it going to deal with you. Amen. Yeah. It going to be dealing with you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be, be wishing you would have heard the right preacher. Enemies of the cross. Yes. 
going beyond John 3.16 for our learning. For our learning. We have to learn every alphabet. Not just A, B, C. We got to go all the way through. Yes. All the way through. <laughs> to have full knowledge of maturity. Yeah. He said, I am the true vine, and ye are the branches. And every branch in me, he prunes it. Yeah. Then it brings forth more fruit. Yes. It brings forth more Jesus. Did it bring for more love, yeah. more understanding, more knowledge? Yeah. Take it a greater height, a greater glory, yeah. a deeper depth in the Lord. Yes. See, he knows when we bathe, he keeps us in the shallow water. Yes, he does. As a babe. But if we start growing up, then you can't, you can't. Put your like baby in the little, the little bucket there. Huh? You baby the baby in the little bucket. You got a big tub for you. Right. <laughs> you big boy now. Come on. You big boy now. Oh, yeah. You tell me to get a tub now, now son. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You know what the Lord telling us? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I got, I got, I got, I'm going to take a little father. Father me. I'm going to give you something where you, where you won't be running. Where you going to turn around and look that devil in the face right. and take your stand and look in the eye. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, devil. You ain't chasing me home no more. Mm -hmm. I'm chasing you. That's right. I'm chasing you. Amen. You see? Mm -hmm. I'm chasing you. See, when you're a little, little kid, the little, little Tinkerbell, chase y'all at home. The little chihuahua. Chase y'all. Hmm? Right. You get a little size and take a pair of you ain't scared me no more. <laughs> huh? Yeah. That's all, that's, that's all. We gotta come into that knowledge Amen. of who we are in Christ. Right. Who we are in Christ. See, in Christ, the old man dies. Yeah. But the new man liveth. Yeah. I said the old man dies in Christ because he nailed him to the cross. The first man was the earth, earthly. Adam. In an Adam, all men die. All flesh men die. All flesh, all flesh men die. But in Christ, in Christ, we live. We call now. We ain't just flesh. Amen. We're born of his bone. Flesh his flesh. That's right. See, in the end, we're going to have that immortality flesh like him. We're going to have that immortality bone like him. But we don't know what the Lord has prepared. What type of mission you have. Before we get to heaven, my Lord, my God, man, I want to praise Him now. I want to praise Him now. My Lord, my God, I want to praise Him now. Man, we got to have a victory down here on earth. To have a victory up there, ain't we gonna get the fight up there? We gotta fight here. Get the victory here. The victory here. Amen. Enemies of the cross. James 4 7 says, Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Now why would the Lord put that in there? He said, 
submit yourself to God. Look what the apostles are telling us. See, the apostles are giving us instructions how to, how to be strong. They're trying to build up. But the word of God comes to do what? To edify the body. To build the body up. To bring them all into to perfect unity. That we will unite with them. We are partaker of the same calling. We are partaker with them of the calling of Christ. We are Christ's. We are his children. We're part of the same bread, of the same altar. So we all got to come into the unity of faith to be built up. So they give us the instruction, what we need. Yes. And the apostles know that you ain't going to get nowhere being stubborn. You ain't get nowhere drawing back. Matter of fact, the apostles said, said I have no pleasure until to them that draw back. We are not in that draw back. But we all know that believe in going on for the sake of our soul. Yeah. We're going to draw back into the flesh. Who bewitched you? That you're going to become perfect after the flesh now? I think they call that being fallen from grace. Yeah. Being lost in your own turmoil of righteousness. Self-righteousness. The apostles know that we, we got to submit ourselves. In the next verse, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. Submit yourself. Means surrender. Yeah. Here I am, oh Lord. Yeah. What you having to do today? Yeah. What you having to do today, Lord? Amen. Submit yourself to Him. Don't kick against the prayer. Don't kick against the authority of heaven. It's the authority of heaven. Don't kick against the Lord. But submit yourself. He said that this stuff is trying to just bugging us. That thought in the mind. The spirit is in the air. He said resist these things. Yeah, and they'll flee from you. Yeah. And he's he, he giving us the mysteries. He's giving us the secrets. Yes, he's giving it to us. It's like a soldier going on a, on a rifle range. And he's trying to hit that target. And he got that drill instructor there. They're coaching him. Show him how to hold that rifle. How to breathe proper. Without that weapon moving. And how to hit a perfect zero. How to engage that target. So he's giving us, he giving us instructions. So we'll be strong in the Lord. Mighty in the Lord. Amen. We got to take these instructions. Resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Yes. Don't yield to nothing the enemy does. Don't give him no place. No room. A little leaven unleaven a whole lump. Little wrong doer upset your whole apple cock. Come on, and it shows. It shows. Attitude shows. Yes, it does. Or praying, or praying preacher, or praying saint mm -hmm. knows it. Oh, yeah. They ain't got to say nothing. Right. They know you've been playing around the mulberry bush. Mm -hmm. They know it. It's not to be. To be judged, but you ought to be helped. But your heart has to be open enough to receive the help. That's right. Yeah. Jesus came to help us. Yes. Yes, he did. To save us Amen. from our own foolishness. Amen. From our own foolishness. And he told us, don't die in your sins. Other words, you better get baptized. You better get washed. We better get clean. He said, well, he don't wait to tell Nicodemus. Marvel not. He said, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. You're coming to this here. You got to be born in this here. Yes. To walk with me. Yes. To walk with me. 
You got to be born in this year. You got to take my instructions. Say, cross. Follow me. Follow me. Deny you. He said, the scripture said, he that seek to save his life shall lose his life. He didn't seek to save his whole fleshly life. Seek to save that earthly man, Adam, the sin, the sin man. You're going to lose it. Why? Because all in Adam dies. But all who is born again in Christ lives. Life is only through Christ. One more Jesus, thou in the flesh. One more Jesus, thou in the flesh. And just keep on sliding, being transformed. Transformed. Come on, man. Every step you take, you're going through a transformation. Transformation. You're going to look back and you're going to know yourself. You're going to know yourself. My Lord. Transformation. Baby. It's like going through a door. Matter of fact, it is a door. Because he said what? I am the door. Just picture a big door. And once you stuck on that threshold, the end of that door, you see, which is by his blood, we can go through the door now. So before we can go through the door, but his body been prepared as a sacrifice, sinless, mm -hmm. and torn and broken for us. Now we can step through that door into the holies yes. Amen. of holies. Hallelujah. And when we make that step, yes. my Lord, my God, all the cartwheels, all the dead carcass falls off. It falls off like dust. And what's before you is a new man. You've been transferred from darkness into his marvelous light. It's up to you to go further. Don't just stand in the door. Don't just stand in the door. Come in. You want to swing out and say, oh, come on in. Oh, yeah. They got a chair by the door. You sit by the first little chair. So, oh, well, come on in to the table. I want you to come further in the house. Yeah. And we can sit down and, and reason out some things. Come further in. And we can talk about these things. What's troubling you? We can talk about how to have victory. See, because he's coming back for a people that have made himself ready. Oh, he said, you refuse to sit in my council. So when your troubles hit, I'm going to laugh. Right. That's what he said. Because you refuse to sit in my council. Amen. See, this is the council of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. And when calamity hit, oh, it's going to hit. Oh, it's going to hit. It's going to hit. Amen. Even the scientists is nervous. Right. Sure they are. nervous. Yes. They moving they, they moving they little gold around. They moving they silver around. Amen. They moving they cattle around. They paying big money to the scientists. Show me the safe area. Out of the earthquake zone. For what they know. Show me a safe area. Oh, the world is getting ready to panic. But they ain't worried about no poor people. But you know what? Poor should have the gospel. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The poor should have the gospel. That's right. The world is in a panic. Believe me, they, they put on a good front. They put on a good front. I've seen 
on Trot Tower fall. Fall. They're gonna fall. They are. All them big towns are gonna fall. They're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. The world gonna get the running. So it's better to get to know Jesus now. Amen. It's better to get to know Jesus now. Yes. Now. He said, now, when you hear his voice, heart not your heart. Oh, give him praise. Yes. Come on, give him praise. Yes. Give him praise. Yes. Give him praise. Yes. See, we know, we know that he went to Calvary. We know he'll whip all night for us. We know by his strife we heal. We know by his blood cleanse us. We know he told us to be ye holy for he's holy. You know he told us that we must be born again. To put on righteousness. We know he said go and sin no more unless something worse come upon you. Man, I don't been through a whole, I don't been through enough. I'm gonna go through that again. Something had worse. You gotta be out your mind. I want more Jesus. Who wanna go back through that? Mind no one. That's a that's that's like committing suicide. You can't come into this knowledge of God and go backwards. You are a light. You are a light. And you have to let your light shine before men that they will glorify the Father. Yeah. Any man ask you, what's the reason for your faith? You should be able to tell them. Right. Why do you carry yourself like this, brother or sister? That's your opportunity to tell them about. You were raised up on the pole. That's an opportunity to win a soul. That's the opportunity. When they open the, when they open the gate, my Lord, my Lord, let the preacher in you come out. Amen. Other words, let the witness. See, the Holy Ghost convict the world of sin. Of wrongdoing. So that's why he, he, we open that book, it shines on us. It shines on us. Shine on us. Because we got to make sure we, we got to get the, we got to get the moat out of our eye. That's right. Can't get the beam out of nobody else's eye. Right. Can we get the moat out of our eye? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him. It's God will that all come to repentance and that none perish. And that none perish. That's the will, that's the will of the Lord. When you think about what he's saying, it's God's will that all come to repentance. You can't skip over repentance. All these the basic building blocks that makes the house. You are, I am, the house of God. House made without hands. And the brick can't be laid first until we are, until we repent. Then we go on. We go on. And that's how the church comes into coming to perfection because we all have the same unity 
of faith, the knowledge of Christ, what it takes to be a house of God, a temple of God. I'm a temple of God, you're a temple of God. You know what matter of person you ought to be out there in the world, yeah. out there at home, wherever you at. You know what matter of person you ought to be. You know who you are. Christ walking you. See, then when we come together, that's why people will imagine, who are these? You see? They're Jesus people. Who are these? You see? The scripture said that the unrighteous are not going to be able to sit in the congregation. What are you telling us? Man, that's enough of fear. The Lord tells it. I better change. You got to submit yourself. It ain't just enough to just say, I've been to church. But the Apostle Paul said, many walk. What were they doing? Denying the power of love. They're trying to promote their own agenda. They can twofold devil out of everybody. You don't take all that. You could be a sinner and follow. Oh, no, you can't. You could come in as one, but you are not to remain. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You ain't remain that way. And that's what he wants. That's what he requires. And that's why he came down to destroy all the works of the devil. That the evil thought that be being in our head, he came to destroy that thought. That the bad attitude, he came to destroy that bad attitude. Mm -hmm. He came to get a dress right dress. His army. How beautiful are them? The feet of them that carry the gospel. For who shall, who have believed our report? My Lord, my God. Who have believed our report? Come on, give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. And Adam, all men die. Through Christ, we live. We live. Come on, we are the resurrected of Christ. We are the resurrected of Christ. We are the resurrected of Christ. You got to speak that to yourself. We've been resurrected into a new creature. Into a new creature. And that's why the Bible said what? Hold fast. He said be settled. And you know, he goes on and said, be what? Unremovable. Don't be moved off the foundation of the apostles. The prophets. Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. Don't be moved off that foundation. Amen. Don't be moved from God's word. Amen. Stand. And stand. Amen. And stand. Amen. Don't be moved. Stand, stand, stand. Yes. Yes. Don't be moved. He said, a strong people. A strong people. His word is our strength. Yeah. My strength coming from the Lord. My, my, my. My, my, my. My strength coming from the Lord. His covenant is written in our heart. How can we deny his covenant? If it's in our heart. How can we deny it? Your body, the temple of the Holy Ghost. 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 And we are to walk even as He walked. As he will. Yes. 
See, we get that same mind that the Lord had. If my mind unite with him and realize and realize that he died to sin once. And we got to remember that we unite with him and understand that we died to sin once. He could deal sin in the flesh. And with the knowledge of what have taken place, we're able to apply it and to crucify it and to keep it buffeted and to go on with the Lord. And it won't be no fight or struggle anymore because we get rid of that flesh seed. Get that flesh seed out that it won't fight against that spirit, the spirit man. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord.